Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended today the enthronement ceremony of His Majesty the Emperor of Japan at the Tokyo Imperial Palace. His Royal Highness conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing His Majesty the Emperor and the country further progress and prosperity under the Rewa era. His Royal Highness expressed pleasure in attending the ceremony and affirming the Kingdom's commitment to expanding bilateral relations and cooperation with Japan. His Royal Highness then attended a dinner banquet in honor of the attendance of official dignitaries and guests. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied His Royal Highness.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also met today the Minister of State and member of the Cabinet of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed bin Fahd Al Saud. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, noting the importance of further strengthening cooperation across all fields. The Royal Highnesses reviewed ways to further strengthen relations and discuss a number of regional and international issues of common interest. His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his support in advancing the bilateral relations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's private secretary, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Marine Corps Commander at U.S. Central Command, Lieutenant General Carl Mandy, at, and his accompanying delegation. His Highness praised the depth of relations between Bahrain and the U.S. in all fields, especially the military and defense cooperation fields. The Council of Representatives held today its weekly meeting, chaired by the Council Speaker Fozia Zainab. The Council ratified the minutes of the previous session and reviewed the government's letters on a number of decrees by law and draft laws. The session approved referring draft laws to concerned committees. It also approved a number of proposals and issuing a statement on the rejection of visits of Zionists to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a press conference on the occasion of issuing the Bahrain Real Estate Valuation Standards and Real Estate Measurement Standards. نوجه الشكر الجزيل للحكومة المقطرة برئاسة صاحب السمو ملك الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء المقطر واللجنة التنسيقية برئاسة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء على دعمهما الكبيرين لتنفيذ البرامج والمشاريع التي تسهم في النهوض بالقطاع العقاري ليحقق الأهداف المناط بها للمساهمة بشكل أكبر في الاقتصاد البحريني تحقيقا لرؤى وتطلعات صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله وسدد على طريق الخير خطر message this sends out yeah, in a global marketplace is really important um, you know we need to reach out to global investors we have companies from all around the world looking to put their bases here we have a workforce from all around the world you know truly multinational multicultural and we want that sustainable investment to come in and that's only going to come if investors feel these markets are transparent if they have confidence in the markets. And what these standards do is absolutely drive transparency. Once again, I mean, we've, we do work with governments all around the world, but I'm absolutely delighted to say that Bahrain is the first government in the Middle East to have not just supported, but adopted and mandated these standards which all connect from IFRS, your financial reporting standard, to valuation standards, to property measurement standards, delivered by people in the marketplace who are working professionally and ethically. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamaid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the Bilisi Silk Road Forum held in the Georgian capital in the presence of a number of government leaders, experts, business people and media figures from around the world. Sheikh Hamaid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his trust in appointing her to attend the forum, which is an opportunity to promote the kingdom as a modern cultural and economic center that has a vital a role in connecting civilizations. She asserted that the forum is an opportunity to exchange expertise and points of view on Bahrain's future role in the Silk Road project which restores ancient trade paths. 
Gulf Air received today its seventh Boeing 7879 Dreamliner at Bahrain International Airport in its special 70th anniversary livery, which showcases the airline's iconic vintage design. The event was attended by a number of guests from the aviation industry and media figures. The new Dreamliner will join the Gulf Air fleet on its first commercial flight this month from Bahrain International Airport to London Heathrow. This will increase the total number of Dreamliners operated by the airline to seven aircraft, which will be followed by the delivery of three more by the end of 2020. As Gulf Air moves forward with, with its strategies, the airline pays tribute to the past with a revamped livery signaling a new era. We're very delighted uh, to have arrived uh, this afternoon uh, with our seventh Dreamliner uh, amongst the fleet of Gulf Air. Uh, this aircraft was dedicated to the 70th anniversary of Gulf Air, which we celebrate next year. And for that reason, we have decided to do a different livery on the exterior of the aircraft. Uh, with this aircraft, we'll be expanding our fleet and network connectivity around the world. And we are hopeful that we can reach f further destinations than we have today. Uh, it's a great day for Gulf Air. Uh, we are on a steady plan to develop the company and, and expand it with the addition of these new aircraft as well as the 320 and 321 NEOs. We look forward to opening many more destinations in the near future, with one being next week to the Maldives. Today we, we just received uh, our seventh uh, Dreamliner, Boeing 787-9 in our fleet. This is a, a very important moment for us. Uh, this, uh, this aircraft has a livery of uh, iconic Lockheed Three Star, Falcon Gold era of the 70s. And uh, with this aircraft, basically, symbolically, we're also entering into the celebration of uh, 70 years of Gulfer. So Gulfer is one of the oldest companies in the Middle East. And uh, we are, of course, extremely proud to this fact and uh, also to being pioneering. Uh, in many fields in aviation, including in fleet. So, for example, not besides 787-9, but also Airbus 320 NEO. This is the first uh, 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 aircraft of that type in the region, but especially as our flag uh, aircraft is, of course, our Dreamliner 787-9. And with this new livery, 70 years livery, uh, we'll start immediately tomorrow uh, traffic uh, to London.